Okay, today we're working on the shop LJ again, and we're gonna talk about the slip yoke eliminator that we have to put in. Uh, you do it on the YJs and the TJs uh, because the back of the transfer case has a slip yoke, which is what you see here. So this part of it slides in and out of the transfer case as needed for the travel of the rear uh, differential. Um, that's no good. With long travel, it's gonna slip right out. If you keep this style, you have that potential of that slipping right out of the transfer case, which we don't want. So we move to this style, where the plunging actually happens on the drive shaft, and then you get a solid yoke attachment at the back of the transfer case, as well as at the rear diff. Now, some terminology, this is commonly referred to as a CV drive shaft uh, because of this mechanism here. Although technically a dual carbon style or dual universal joint style, uh, this is technically a constant velocity drive shaft as well because it has one universal joint on either side. This is just a better version of this um, as far as if say, say you didn't have the slip yoke up here and you had a fixed yoke, this would still work. This just works way better. This gives you a bigger sweet spot at more of a range. So when you have the rear axle that's it's drooping a lot further than stock, this is gonna give you a better sweet spot. It's going to prevent that vibration and it's gonna make essentially your U-joints and drive shaft just last longer is in all reality what this is. It's a better setup. This is how the front of the TJ is set up already from Jeep. Um, so now we're just making the back that way too. So we can go look at the Jeep and you can see the components that we put on the NP231 transfer case. So this is the tail housing and output shaft that was on this transfer case when we started. And you can see this is the output shaft that that slip yoke would glide on. So we take all of that apart and then now we have a, a fixed yoke style and where that new CV drive shaft I showed you earlier is gonna fit and give us a much better performance off-road. So it's a little detailed. You gotta take the transfer case apart to put it on. It's really not that bad. It's a nice upgrade. It's a simple upgrade and it'll make everything last longer and work better. Behind the scenes at David's shop, look who's holding the camera. This is why it sucks. Sorry. No, this is not why it sucks. This is my uh, wife, Shelly, and she does all the behind the scenes stuff, uh, the filming, the editing, sound. So if you have any problems with any of that crap, it's her fault. <laughs> Which part of the camera are you supposed to look at? Over here or over here? Okay, bye.